Barack Obama is having the worst week of his career. One of the core members of his team is going to jail and it could be Joe Biden. A newly released list made Barack Obama realize it's game over. There's been a lot of talk about the unmasking of Michael Flynn and while at first glance, it may not seem like a big deal, it's actually terribly important. One of the great mysteries of the Russian investigation is who leaked Michael Flynn's phone call to the press. While wiretapping the call of foreign agents is allowed if they are speaking to an American, the American's identity is supposed to be masked. There are very few people with enough power to request that an American be unmasked. The list of people is bad news for both Obama and Joe Biden. Releasing an unmasked name is a serious felony that is punishable with up to 10 years in prison. Americans aren't supposed to be punished if they are caught up in foreign surveillance that is conducted under looser guidelines. Senator Rand Paul just announced that he's planning to introduce an amendment to the USA Freedom Reauthorization Act of 2020 to keep the American government from misusing its power. Under the change, Paul is proposing the government wouldn't be able to spy on Americans with warrants from the secret foreign intelligence surveillance court. Instead they would have to go to a normal federal court. The Constitution is supposed to protect the American people from their government spying on them. What happened to General Flynn and President Trump should never be allowed to happen again, said Senator Paul. Michael Flynn was ratted out to the media and there's only a short list of people who could have done it. There are only 39 people who could have released Flynn's conversation to the public. The list includes then FBI Director James Comey, then CIA Director John Brennan, then Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, and Obama's then Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough, then Ambassador to Russia John Taft, and then Secretary of the Treasury Danny McGlynn. Most of the names on the list held high positions of power. One name though, in particular, jumps off the page. Joe Biden asked for Michael Flynn to be unmasked on January 12, 2017, the same day that Michael Flynn's conversation with the Russian ambassador was leaked to the Washington Post. I know nothing about those moves to investigate Michael Flynn, Biden claimed. This is all about diversion. This is the game this guy plays all the time. The country is in crisis. We're in an economic crisis. We're in a health crisis. We're in real trouble. He should stop trying to always divert attention from the real concerns of the American people. It seems like Joe Biden is the one desperately trying to divert attention from talking about Flynn. The fact that the current candidate for the Democrat Party and former vice president possibly committed a felony to make a political attack is no small matter.